that's for sure. We're live. Good morning, everybody. This is uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome for me uh, for a few reasons. Who would like to know what those reasons are? Uh, I will tell you. In a momento. In a momento. No one. No one's watching me on um, on uh, Instagram right now. Uh, and it looks like. No one's actually watching me on on here either. What can you do? Oh no, we, no. I think we're in business. You know what? I'm feeling quite hot. I might actually have to take. Um, I might actually have to take my top off. Um, here we go. No, oh, we seem to be having. Let me take this off. You've all seen me with my clothes, not on all my clothes off, excuse me. Um, ah, that's why. Someone's joined me on Instagram. Good morning. There you go. I was getting a little bit confused. We are in the building. Let's share this. I am in the most beautiful place in the world. Before we get into day five on the Magnificent Seven, I must tell you, I'm in Cheltenham. Uh, Cheltenham is in uh, Gloucestershire, for those of you that don't know where uh, that is. And this is a very special place in my heart. I can't even begin to tell you. I have more memories. I have more flashbacks in the last, uh, since I got here last night. I have more flashbacks here than any other place on earth. I don't know whether you have a place like that, a place that you go to, and you have so many uh, positive memories of being in that place. Well, this is what Cheltenham was or is for me because uh, I first came here in 1989 and um, most of you don't know this I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a background on, on Pete Cohen uh, I really struggled in school uh, have really no qualifications and somehow I kind of bluffed my way into uh, university and that university was here in Cheltenham but it wasn't even a university it was what's called a higher education it was higher education college uh, but it was here I really found my feet for the first time I found uh, I don't know, I said true friendships. And here, just outside here, let me show you. This is Clarence Square. I don't see if you can if you can see. I used to live just literally just down there, 100 feet away. And there's this park across the way. Um, there's so many things I could tell you about living in this place and what it did for me. I literally had my first job uh, about a quarter of a mile away as an aerobics instructor in 1989. I started my weight loss uh, program literally two minutes just over there uh, <laughs> it's just so many memories uh, come back and I just realized how how much effort that I've put into I remember living here in 93 and immersing myself in personal development I mean I used to read books make notes and that was a long time ago and sometimes I don't just I, I think we don't realize just how great we are and, and that's what I want all of you to start off and tell yourself today is how great you are tell yourself I'm great right? Tell yourself, I'm great right now, because you're here, you've showed up, you don't have to be here. Again, look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie. If you look at the numbers at the beginning of the week, and you see the numbers have come down a little bit, but you're still here. You're still here. Why? Because you're great, you're brilliant. And the more you recognize that, the more you reckon, recognize you are magnificent. You are magnificent. What does magnificent mean? It means, I believe, it means the best is yet to come. So I appreciate every single one of you for being in here this week and getting involved, no matter how difficult and how challenging life is, because I know a lot of you have got some challenges going on right now. And I believe that you're either going towards a crisis, you're either in a crisis or you're coming through. Uh, and, and that's the way that life is. And if you look at the Japanese meaning or the Japanese, Japanese symbols for the word crisis, there are two symbols. One means danger and one means opportunity. And this is why next week is going to be so profound for so many of you, because we're going to be looking at obstacles, that obstacles aren't the way. They are the way. Obstacles are the way. Going through obstacles is the only way that you're going to grow and learn and become better. Should I say that again or do you hear what I say? Going through obstacles is the only way you grow. As one of our members of the month uh, said Joe Tyler, I mean, she heard this from somebody else because there's no such thing as new ideas. Right? I'm just giving you ideas, ideas I had years ago, but the ideas are better. Everything is better. I'm better. You're better because you're here. You might not be where you want to be, but that's OK. You're still here. You're magnificent. But my challenge to you today 
is to realize that the best is yet to come. So what I ask everyone to do, let's review this week. For me, it's been a really big week, the Magnificent Seven, being able to share to you what I believe is the best, best health strategy ever. How many of you believe that the Magnificent Seven Wheel is the best health strategy, diet, whatever you want to call it, best way, even though it's very simple for a way for you to chart your health? And by the way, we have a unique gift that we're going to be later on today. It will be in the private Facebook group, which anyone can join just uh, on Facebook. Search for uh, my365. If you're not in the group, it's a private group. Just ask to join. If you get in there, we are going to give you a free ebook on the Magnificent Seven and give you some access to some other content around you and your health. As you know, Mag the My365 is all about helping you to be the best that you can be. We believe your future is unwritten. We believe you have the power to change, and we want to give you as much information and inspiration to help you on that journey. So congratulations if you're here today. Thank you for sharing this. Of those of you that have shared it, let's do a recap. So what did we look at this week? Well, we looked at the Magnificent Seven. How did I come across this? Well, working with the best. You're working with the best. I'm the best at what I do. And I work with a lot of the best people at what they do, which is you. But also Dr. Rakowski, one of the top nutritionists in the world uh, who came up with this uh, kind of system, if you like. And we worked on it together. We refined it. The Magnificent Seven. What is it? It is eat right, think right, talk right, move right, think right, sleep right, poop right, move right. The seven and getting those in balance. You can download the PDF. It's in the My365 journal. So we looked at that this week, and I ask all of you today, do it today. What have you learned? What have you achieved? And what are you going to do with it? It's like, what is your coach asking you to do? Your coach is just saying, take some time to reflect. Get it out there. Put it on video, ideally. Unless, of course, there's some big reason why you can't do that. But for me, a lack of confidence isn't a, a big enough reason. A, a big enough reason is professionally, you don't want other people to see it because of what you do. If you lack confidence, well, let's work on building your confidence so that eventually you do feel comfortable. But if you don't feel comfortable putting yourself in front of the screen, at least write it down. The best way, the best way to learn anything is to stop and reflect. What have I learned this week? What have I achieved? And what am I going to do with this? If you don't do this and you don't tell 10 people, I dare you to tell a few people about what it is that you're doing. So what we looked at is we looked at the easies, the, the easies, the two easies. Do you remember? What's easy to do is easy not to do. It's easy to meditate, sit there for 10 minutes, but it's easy not to do. It's easy to drink a glass of water. It's easy not to drink a glass of water. It's easy uh, to look at some chocolate and look at some fruit. And it's easy to have the chocolate. It's the two easies. What I challenge all of you to do is start recognizing what are the things that you want to do because you know where it is that you want to go. What else did we look at this week? We looked at me asking you the question, when are you at your best? When are you at your best? Now, for most people, they are at their best when they did what they said they were gonna do. So when people say, right, this is my objectives, my outcomes for the day, when they did it, this is not a to-do list. This is a success list. You can write that down, by the way. There's all the things you think these things have got to do. All of these things are going to give you success. My success list. Who wants success? By the way, I've just given you another real uh, top tip there. And I asked you to, to think about the challenge. We talk about is this easy to do or is it easy not to do? If it was really that easy, everyone would be doing it. It's actually quite challenging to look after yourself. And that's why so many people don't do it very well. They want someone else to do it uh, for them. They give in to temptation. They don't have a big enough reason. But to make you be the very, very best you want to be is a challenge. And I really ask you over the next couple of days to ask yourself, are you up for the challenge? Show me some heart. Show me anything right now if you are up for the challenge. And also right now, share with me what's been your biggest learning so far this week. What is it that's really struck a chord uh, for you. What else did we look at this week? Well, this isn't something I, I really talked about, but I want to mention it today because every day I want to give you something. And the first thing I've given you is stop making to-do lists, right? Start making success lists. The things that you do, that if you do them, you get to feel successful. There's actually a lady that's watching this right now and she knows who she is. And um, she's someone who lost a considerable amount of weight. I mean, she lost a lot of weight. And when I did an event, she uh, 
actually called up the organizer and said, you know, are there steps? Uh, because uh, she had sticks uh, and um, she, she was very large and she wanted, I think, that she could sit on basically two chairs because she was that big. Now, I admired her so much because she came. She came to the event where, but can you imagine the amount of pain and discomfort she must have been in to get herself into the position to do something about it? So this lady has done exceptionally well. She lost a whole load of weight. But her, like me, like all of us, we have kryptonite. We have challenges. Some people, it's drugs. Some people, it's alcohol. Some people, it's sugar. Some people, it's other things. Some people, it's lots and lots gambling. It can be lots and lots of different things. Hers was alcohol. And um, she lost the weight and I think over time started to, to drink uh, again. And uh, it got really bad. She, I think she put more weight back on again and she contacted me. Uh, and we had a we had a conversation. And while she was talking to me, it became quite apparent that what she was saying is, look, I, I don't want to die of, of this. And in my head, I was going, I can't imagine being at your funeral and when they're giving the eulogy, they're talk well, you know, it's obvious how that she left this earth through her addiction getting the better of her. And I just couldn't imagine her because I know inside her, as I know inside with all of you, there's something much bigger than your addictions. There's something much bigger than your insecurities, your imperfections. And this is what I wanted to touch on today. Do you want to leave an imprint on this earth? Do you want to leave an imprint? Do you want to leave like a little legacy? Do you know in 1993, I just used to walk up this road, up this road and go to the gym. I started a weight loss program up there in, I think, 94. It was called Shape Up, but then became Lighten Up. I had four people. After one week, it was three. That business ended up selling in 2003 for a lot of money and changed my life. But I put so much work in to make that happen. But I didn't do it because I wanted money. I did it because I liked helping people. But during this time, I worked so hard, I was struck down with chronic fatigue, ME, and it was one of the hardest times of my life. Ten years, I struggled with really really low energy and it was it was, wasn't very nice but through going through this hard time i've come through the other side and i appreciate life so much more i appreciate my life so much more after having gone through what i went through with my wife as many of you know she wasn't given that long to be here but she's alive and well and and happy next week we're going to be looking at the obstacles the obstacles of the way that there are obstacles that will come our way and we need to go through them. But it's so much easier when we go through those obstacles together. Right, Mandy? Right, Susie? Right, Ray? Right, Marty? Look, all of you guys here, every single one of you, even though you might be going through uh, some difficult times, uh, good, because you'll come out better. You might not realize it now. Uh, people are like, there's just so many of you that are such incredible people that make My365 what My365 is. Now, this is Friday. I'll take any questions that anyone has. But I'm asking all of you right now, if you haven't shared this, share it. People have, just imagine if every doctor in the world, when someone came and he wasn't very well, gave them the Magnificent Seven, explained, look, if we can just get you drinking a bit more, moving a bit more, and you start to chart it and you can record it and see what it is that you're doing. And he gave it to everyone who was unwell. But of course, giving it to someone isn't going to make any difference. People have to do it. But just imagine a few people did it. What difference do you think an impact that would have on that person's life, their health? What impact would that have on their friends and family? What impact would that have on the National Health Service? What impact would it have? What impact? What impact do you want to have? That's my challenge to you this week. Uh, end, everyone. I want all of you to start thinking about what's the impact. I'm going to talk today to 100 and 180 head teachers, deputy heads, I want to have a massive impact on them in a positive way. What about you? What about you? What impact do you want to have? Think about it. I appreciate every one of you for being here. I think it's time for me to make my last uh, summary uh, of the week on here. Thanks for watching. Say hello to everyone on Instagram. Come and follow me on Instagram. Uh, make sure those of you that are not a part of our Facebook group, you know, it's free. It's private, but it's free. Um, 
it's just Google, sorry, Facebook, My365, and you'll see a private group. Join uh, later on today. We're going to have an ebook, a free ebook that we've been working on behind the scenes, and the best is yet to come. So look at this: all the things that you want to do. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, everyone. I was thinking about Trish yesterday because just down here, about two minutes away, is where I saw this lady teach an aerobics class in 1989. And when I saw her talk, saw her teaching, I thought maybe I can do that. It was just an idea. Obstacles make you stronger. Get ready. For next week, thank you, everyone, for all of your uh, – thank you, Kate Carruth, for yesterday, for pushing me on. Oh, I'm still filming on here. Guys, it's awesome. Share, share, share. Share what you've learned. Share what you've achieved. It could be just a couple of minutes, but it's important. It's you documenting this journey. Let's go. Let's film this. Here we go. No, we're not. We're – no. Let's go back. There we go. So it's been an awesome week, day five. Thank you, everyone, that uh, has been a part of this. This is where I used to live, Clarence Square in Cheltenham. This week has all been about the Magnificent Seven and you being magnificent. And what I was talking about today is you guys becoming a role model, you guys becoming, leaving an impact and thinking, what is the impact that I want to leave on the world? You see, everything that you do, if you go to work on yourself, it's not just you that benefits, it's everyone else around you. If you're happy, if you're healthy, we shouldn't be looking for the world to make us better. We need to make ourselves better and give our greatest gifts to the world. And what's the greatest gift you can give to the world? It's your happiness. It's your joy. It's not always easy. It's not always easy. But it's a wonderful thing to do. Thank you so much for everyone that's watched this week. Get ready for next week because next week is all about obstacles. I'm going to teach you how obstacles are the way. You want obstacles in your life because that's where you're going to grow and that's where you're going to tap into your greatest potential thanks for watching everyone it's been awesome much love to all of you can't wait to see everyone's videos if it makes you feel uncomfortable good because it's a sign that it's something that you need to do remember the first 10 times we practice most things it's it's unbearable for many people but then then they do one or two and then they don't do it again <laughs> but if they did 10 they'd start to feel from going unbearable to uncomfortable, from uncomfortable to unstoppable, a force of nature. Thank you so much. Much love. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.